Hello everybody, it's time for another Do Good Help session. Here we go. Hopefully this will help you with adding integers. In the very beginning, you learned how to add simple numbers together. Let's do an example here. Um, positive 4 plus positive 3. Now you might find writing your numbers in brackets with the sign inside the brackets is going to help. So normally we would just write this as 4 plus 3. But now that we're dealing with integers and positive and negative numbers, it will probably help to write your numbers this way to keep it nice and organized and clean. This will also separate your adding and subtracting symbols from your positive and negative because we use the same symbols to reference adding and positive and subtracting and negative, this keeps it cleaner and easier to follow what you're doing when you're doing your work. So with this example, positive four plus positive three, let me show you how to do this on a number line. It's quite straightforward. If we've got a number line here, And in this case, I'm just drawing a positive number line. Here's how we do this. We start always by looking at the first number in the equation, or in the expression in this case. Positive 4. We find that number on our number line, and that is our starting point, right there. Now, we know that 4 plus 3 is 7, but let's follow the process. We're adding, and we're adding positive 3. Well, we know that if we're adding 3 to something, positive 3, that the number has to get bigger. So we're going to move to the right 1, 2, 3 spots, and we're going to land on positive 7. So three little leaps to make this positive 3 added on to the positive 4. So we know that our answer is positive 7. That's the easy one. That's the one that you should be used to and should be the most comfortable for you. Personally, I like doing it this way with the leaps. You can count it out. It's easy to see where you've started which is on positive 4, and it's easy to see where you end if you have a little arrow on the end of your last leap. So now, what if we change this a little bit? Let's take positive 4, and we're going to add, we're still adding, but instead of positive 3, we're going to add negative 3. Let's see what that looks like now on a number line. I'm going to expand my number line just a little bit. I'm not going to use the whole thing, but I just want you to get used to seeing negative numbers as well as positive numbers on your number line. So, just like above, we take a look at our first number, positive 4. That is our starting point. So we find positive 4 on our number line, and I'm going to mark that as my starting point. Now, what's the difference here? We're still adding. But here we've added a positive 3, here we're adding a negative 3. Positives and negatives are opposite. So that means we're going to do an opposite thing on this particular instance. So we've got our starting point, but instead of moving to the right, we're going to do the opposite. And we're going to move three bumps. One, two, three. To the left. And that means our answer is positive 1. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 4 plus negative 3 is equal to plus 1. Exact same process followed. Start at your first number. We're adding, which is going to be the most comfortable situation for most of you. Positive, then we move to the right. Negative, we move to the left. 
and the number we land on is our answer. We have two different answers for two different equations. Now, it doesn't matter what number you're starting on, whether it's big or small, and I'm going to show you how this works in a moment with some smaller numbers. Let's say we're starting with negative 2 plus positive 3. So this is exactly the same as up above the first example, but instead of positive 4 as our starting number, we're using negative 2 as our starting number. So we're adding positive 3 both times. So that means the actions we take are going to be identical. It does not matter what this first number is. The actions are all based on the adding and whatever number it follows that. So I'll draw a number line. Same deal. First number is negative 2, so I go and find that on my number line. That is my starting point. Now I'm adding. That's good. That's what I've been doing all along. And I'm adding positive 3. Well, if I'm adding positive 3, that means I do 3 bumps to the right. So I'm going to do that. Take my starting point and 1, 2, 3 bumps to the right. Put my little arrow on the end to show that I've actually been moving to the right and I land on positive 1. So negative 2 plus positive 3 equals positive 1. So if you took the numbers off of the bottom of this number line and then took the numbers off the bottom of this number line, it would look identical. The first example and the third example. We have a dot, we have three bumps to the right with an arrow, and that is where our answer is. So don't be scared by whatever numbers you're being given, whether it's a negative number or a positive number, it follows the same process if you're adding a positive. Likewise, if we're subtracting, or sorry, if we're adding a negative and we start negative, it doesn't really change much either. We can start with negative 2 and add negative 3. Let's see what that gets us. Uh, let's see. Here's our number line. First digit negative 2. So that's my starting point. So I go to my number line, find negative 2, mark that as my starting point. Now I'm adding negative 3. Well, adding negative 3, that's the opposite of adding 3. So I know I'm not going to go to the right, I'm going to go to the left, 3 bumps. 1, 2, 3, just like that. And I land right there on negative 5. So negative 5 is my answer. Negative 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 5. So if you took the numbers off of this number line and off of this number line, my drawing would look the same. There's a dot, three bumps to the left, and that's my answer. So the process of adding a negative number is identical whether or not your first number is positive or negative. Don't be thrown off by that. A couple of other shortcuts that you might um, find useful. If your signs are the same in your question, then your sign is going to be the same in your answer. These are both positive, that's positive. These are both negative, that's negative. That's one rule that you can remember. Now, if your signs are different, like they are here, look at the numbers themselves. I've got a 4 and a 3. 4 is bigger than 3. It has a bigger magnitude, let's call it. So, it's going to win. Then you can actually do a subtraction. And I'm scared to mention that right now. 
but 4 and 3. The difference between 4 and 3 is 1. 4 is bigger, and this is a positive 1, so my answer is going to be positive 1. Here, signs are different. I've got a 2 and I've got a 3. 3 has a bigger magnitude than 2, so 3 is going to win. It also has a positive sign. So I'm going to have a positive answer, and then the difference between 2 and 3 is 1. So there's a couple of other little mental tricks that you can remember if you want to go that way. But I think drawing out on a number line and following these processes is going to help.